All right, so this is a very simplified way of getting lipo power and performance out of a chaos with the least amount of effort. So this is the lazy man's of doing, way of doing it. And we'll just do a quick breakdown of what that entails. Starting with battery, most of the shell, in fact, pretty much all of the shell with this one exception right here is left intact. And the only thing that this has done, it's you can drill it, you can, uh, you can grind it, you can melt it, however you want to do it. Just a little bit of wire relief so that you can have the pigtail to the XT60 coming out here. That's the only shell modification that this requires. So you can see we're using the stock switches, um, stock everything, and even the pigtails themselves. You can see that uh, the positive lead is going to the terminal here, and the negative lead is going to the terminal there. So this will still work with the... Uh, stock battery tray. So if you want to still use this with uh, AA or D cell alkalines, you can do that. If you want to use the uh, the official uh, Nerf Rival battery pack, that'll work too. We've got a 2.2 uh, amp hour 25C uh, 3S battery here. If you want, you can convert the tray so that it holds the cell in place. I'm not going to bother. There's a very easy way of doing that. All you have to do is cut out some supports and it'll fit in very comfortably. All right, moving on here. None of the locks have been removed. All that's gonna be left stock. Um, the main reason for removing these electrical locks out is so that you don't have to install more micro switches. Um, since we're not installing any micro switches, that's not an issue. Heading up to the front. Originally, I tried doing it with just the simple pigtail and what would happen is uh, if you ran it, both of the, all three of the motors, so all three of them were, were feeding current, or drawing current, I should say. What would happen is the thermistors on the uh, flywheel motors would eventually shut the motors off. So what we have here, note that the uh, resistor boards, the thermistor boards are still in place, but you jump directly. These are the negative terminals on the flywheel motors. These are the positive terminals. Essentially what this is doing is it's directly bypassing the thermistors, it's bypassing all of these uh, pieces here on the boards and these inductors as well. The inductors are no longer connected to anything because these leads have been snipped and spliced into the directly direct line into the negative pole and here direct line into the positive pole. Is this the correct way of doing it? No. Obviously the way you want to do it is to rewire everything um, minimal. 18, 18 gauge AWG, preferably 16, although that does lead to some problems with the fitment. Note that the inductors and the uh, thermistors on here have not been bypassed. That might affect the rate of fire a little bit, but honestly, if you want to have the high rate of fire, then you pull out the stock motor altogether and you swap it with something, um, a 180 motor of your choice. But uh, for now, we're, we're good here. Unless if I put a speed controller for this motor here, um, I'm gonna forgo the super high rate of fire. And uh, I ran, I think about 200 rounds through it without the uh, thermistors tripping. Obviously they're being bypassed, so it's not gonna shut the circuit down. And the uh, conveyor belt motor did not get tripped either, even though the inductors have not been bypassed. So again, this is just a very simple way. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the only parts you're gonna need for this is just uh, your upgraded wire and your XT60 plug. Why would you do it like this? You wanna do a whole bunch of them. And if you're spending a few hours, several hours, including shell mods to get the micro switches to fit in here, that can add up. So I bought three of these at once. Uh, none of them are going to be running off of D-cell batteries, and I have no intention of buying a stack of the uh, nickel metal hydride uh, Hasbro batteries. So we're just going to be doing LiPo, and I just wanted to be able to do a stack of rival blasters like this real quick with the minimal amount of materials. So I'll continue to test, but again, 200 rounds run off in rapid succession and no problems.